What I want to go over quickly here is how to buy an option contract on the Webull trading platform. So we're at the main screen on Webull. You're going to go down to the search bar right there. You're going to type in any stock that you want to trade. Let's say we want to trade Apple, A-P-P-L-E. You know, type that in. Apple is going to come up right there. You're going to click on that. What you're going to get is chart, options, news, feeds. You're going to click on options here. Right, that's the second one right there. This is what comes up next. All of these are your expiration dates. April 17th, April 25th, May 2nd, May 9th, May 16th, May 23rd. Those are all your expiration dates. That is how far out you can buy a contract for. Let's say we want to buy one that expires on May 16th, 30 days from now. And now what comes up, you get your calls on the left side. That's if you think the stock is going to go up. Puts is if you think the stock is going to go down. And then what we have in the middle, 190, 195, 200, 205, 210, 215, those are all your strike prices. That is what you believe the stock is going to go down to or up to. The cost to get one of those contracts is all these numbers right here. Next to 205, if you want to get a call, 7.95. It's going to cost you $795 to get one of these. If you think it's going to go down to 190 and you want to get a put, it's going to cost you $485 bare minimum. Let's say by this date, we believe Apple is going to go down to 195. So we get a put of a strike price of 195. You're going to click on right there. This is what comes up. This is your order screen. This is where you put in the price that you want to pay for that contract. You're going to go down. You're still buying this put. You confirm it's a put up the top. You're going to hit the order type limit. This is what can come up. You get different kind of orders, a limit order, a market order, a stop order. But typically what I will do is either a limit order or a market order when I'm buying something. Let's say I want to do a limit order. This is limiting how much I want to pay for something. I'm going to stick on there. Right now, you can buy this contract for $6.32. Let's say I want to go a little bit cheaper. I could put it in at 6.3. Go next, buy one contract. Now, you need to go next and buy the actual thing. This is what comes up next. $630, there's a six cent transaction fee. You're gonna hit confirm. I'm not gonna do it here because I don't want Apple right now, but that's how you get a contract for an Apple put at $195 strike price that expires on May 16th, 2025. Now let's go over how to do the same thing in Robinhood if you plan on using Robinhood.